Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here on behalf of My Creative Year Facebook group and hashtag My Creative Year for the month of April and this is the April Muse. Now this one's going to seem a little odd. I'm not going to do um, a flip through of what I'm about to show you but I'm trying to make a point. There'll be flip through some other time. So um, I've been... I've been watching other people's videos where people are trying to finish unfinished projects and I decided that this year I will make an effort to finish my unfinished projects. So the first one I started with was this one. I had five signatures ready to go with just the uncovered um, outside and decided that I needed to finish it so I finished three of the signatures and put them inside here and went whoa there's not room for five because look at this <laughs> so I decided that I was only going to do um, three signatures so I did finish I had stuff in here you know every other page every couple pages there was stuff glued in here but I did not give it my full attention my full effort so I did finish this when did I finish it? Did I write it in here? No. Okay. So I did finish. This was an unfinished project that was in a Ziploc bag. So that one's done. Well, as I mentioned, I had two signatures left. And I let them sit on the desk with the cover for, I don't know, two or three weeks and decide I need to do something with them. So as I'm thumbing through my unfinished project tub, I found another unfinished project and this is a project that I've been wanting to do for a long time and it is a coffee journal so I actually finished my coffee journal after I finished this one so here is ribbon that was gifted to me by Peg Robinson um, I bought the filigree metal pieces here on that are on the spine and everything I bought these from a lady on Etsy and Please don't ask me who it is because honestly I can't remember. <laughs> so there are three rather hefty signatures in here. I think there's a total of 120 pages in this book. And I had not, well, I had started this partially. I had a lot of images saved and thought it was plenty until I started gluing stuff in here and then discovered that I needed way more images than what I had managed to save. So I needed to get on Pinterest and look for some more images, look through magazines, and acquire more images. So I finished this one. It, is, um, it took the better part of 10 days of working on this all day, every day, so that I could get it finished. I'll do a flip through another time. Okay, so we're back to the two um, signatures that were left over from this book here. So I did the coffee book, and I, when I got finished with it the other day, I was like, uh-oh, I've got a ton more images left over. What am I going to do with all of them? Well, remember the two little signatures? So I took the two little signatures, and I made a smaller coffee book with the two signatures I had left over from this one. So basically, these books are the same size because these signatures would have gone in here had I had a larger spine. So I had this little, um, I think this was some kind of nasal medication box. And then I finished this making a smaller little coffee book. And then I put a, a band around it because, there you go, you know how I feel about stuff spreading out on my bookcase. Takes up more room, I could put another little small book. So I finished this one. Well, then I went digging through my stuff, and I was like, oh, okay, okay, I got another one in here that started, but let me look. And it was in a small pint bag because I knew it was going to be a little book. So here's the cover. And I made the belly band like 10 minutes ago. Because <laughs> again, it's one that spreads. And this one spreads, you know, like that. So this one is based on postage. U.S. mail postage and European postage. And I already had the little book made. I had the images made. Just never bothered to glue them in. So, I finished this one too. So here's all the ones. This one, this one, 
this one and this one that I have finished lately. So let me get what I need from under the desk. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here we go. I have a tub. It's empty now for filming purposes and on the end. Oh, you can't. Sh oh, there it is. And it says unfinished projects. All right. So, and there's never any lid on it. Just saying. So I went through and I've been looking at the other things that I have. This is a very small book that has eight signatures in it. I don't know what I was thinking. And I have finished almost four of them. I'm halfway there. Why don't I finish the other half? Who knows? This is a tag book that needs images. The initial part is done. There's the images, the ribbon, all the stuff to finish the book unfinished. This was going to be a book about butterflies. I have no, it's just images. I'm not really sure if I'll go forward with this one or not. This is a quilt book. I have the, I think I have the book portion to it here. Uh -huh. I do. There it is right there. Um, where I start, oh my word, there's more started here than I thought there was. Holy cow. Okay. All right. So this one's almost done. <laughs> Pays to look at your stuff, doesn't it? Well, so I have more images in there. I might do a second. Eh, maybe I should just finish it. Anyway, so there's that one. See, I put these little things in here to tell me what's on the inside. It doesn't tell me how much I did. <laughs> so all these little miscellaneous projects were in this envelope right here, which is where they will live once again until I make the decision. I can't put this one in. It's too bulky. All right, so there's that envelope. Then I have this one that is a... Um, it was a manila folder that I made a trifold out of. And the signatures are sewn in it. I have a little Texas charm here. And I collaged over it and tried to make it look like metal. I have uh, metal parts here on both ends that I bought off at Etsy. And this was meant to be a Texas sort of travel thing for all the places that I've been to in Texas, all the cities that I've been through. I have some travel stuff in here. It's all made up of uh, Rand McNally Atlas. All the signatures are like that. Oh, now see, I put Paris stuff in here, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it wasn't a Texas thing. <laughs> Good grief. All right, so then I do have travel stickers in here. I have some images glued in here. Here's another pocket. I don't think, is there anything glued in here? Honestly, I couldn't tell you because I never look at this stuff anymore. You know, you just go on with a million other projects and you forget the ones that are in the corner where you never look at them. Out of sight, out of mind. I thought there was an, another page with stuff glued in it. Evidently not. All right, so this definitely needs attention. And uh, this will be one that won't be finished for a long time, but at least I need to glue the stuff in that I have managed to save all this time. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I didn't even know I had. Look at all this. And tags and everything. Okay, so obviously I intended to finish this again. And the euphoria of a new project passed. And so did the effort. All right, so there's that one. I hope you guys have lots of time today. All right, so this is a color glue book that I started. Where I was putting... Well, there's lots of images inside of pages and stuff. I don't know... How many signatures are here? Oh, good grief. One, two, three, four, five signatures. <gasps> oh, my. All right, so I put post-it notes, evidently, on the pages that needed stuff. And there's way more post-it notes, I think, than anything else. So on the inside, I was trying to do color-related things that were, you know, color pages and things. Yellow and yellow. Oh, there's some ballerinas there, kind of red and teal, red and teal, blue and teal and red and teal, nothing, pinks and teals, a door. I did glue things in here. Some of them I wasn't happy about, so I guess I abandoned it because it didn't exactly thrill me what I had done. That's the thing. When you're unhappy, you put something away and you get happy by starting something new. All right, so there's five signatures here, and evidently there's a lot of work still left to be done to these, and I don't even have a cover for it. 
But I have other images now. I have enough images now. I could probably finish this. Have I? No. So there's that one. Then there is the color book <laughs> two and three. Because, like, starting number one wasn't enough. Now I'm adding number two and three to it. <laughs> haven't done anything to these guys either. Oh my lord. Okay, so I think what happened was, was I had too many signatures and I decided to break it up and that's why there's um, number two and three. And I got intimidated by the size of the project that I did and then I lost my nerve. <laughs> so there's uh, color book number two and three. So I guess, how many signatures? Oh, these don't have anything in them. Oh lord. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there, I guess I would do four signatures in each book. So there's glue book number one and then glue book two and three. Then there's this altered book I bought someplace. Oh, mm. I tore, there's the cover to it. Oh, I think I bought this at um, Dollar Tree because I thought it was so cool. I tore a lot of stuff out of it, cut it up, and was going to change the book around a little bit. I ripped some pages out of it, and the pages that I ripped out, I did cut up. So it's still mostly intact, but I figured after I glue more stuff in here that it would be fat, and so I took... I took more than half of the pages out. And here are the images off of those pages. Don't know what I'm going to do with this. Don't know if I will continue with it. But it is here. And it is an altered book. And it is, again, unfinished. Alrighty, here's another one. This one has the intended cover. Stuff to go on it. And absolutely no images in here. This is just covers for books for the future. Artwork, you know, for the cover. That's all this is. There's no images in here whatsoever. I was just working on um, a gluing method for covers, so that's unfinished. This is a book I wanted to do about dogs. This is full of images of dogs. There's no cover for it. There's nothing. It's just images of dogs. I think I have enough. I could probably start this one. Yeah. Will I? Who knows? Let's not lie. I probably won't. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. All right. This one. Whoops. This one is for cats. Um, I don't want to put anybody's address on there. Oh, who was this from? Somebody in... Fort Smith, Arkansas. Anyway, so there's images of cats here. I was going to make a cat book. This has a whole lot less images than the dog book does, but I think there might be enough there to do a very small little two-signature type thing. These are ballerinas that I cut out of a ballet book, and I glued them onto manila folders that I was going to recycle. There they are right there. Uh, I don't know what to do with these, but... I had a label that said ballerinas on it, and that's in there. And that's it. So my muse for the month of April was trying to get inspired to finish unfinished projects. and start of, Instead of starting some new things every week or every month, I need to concentrate on um, ugh, clearing out that box. So in the future, you may see some flip-throughs on my channel, you may see some more of that bin with the, you know, with all these things. I'm hoping next time you see it in a couple months from now that it'll be mostly these kind of things that are empty. I don't want to start stuff and not finish it. I'm not that kind of person. I try to finish things that I start, but I got carried away. So now I'm going to reel it in and start finishing my unfinished projects. I hope you guys... Uh, try to finish some unfinished stuff too. This inspires you to take a look at what you have laying around that's taken up space that you could put something else there instead. Um, and finish some unfinished projects. Alright, so this is Vicki Brown from Messy Table Studio on behalf of My Creative Year for the April Muse. See you guys in May. Bye-bye.